Hey there designers, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll show you how you can create this sleek and smooth animated sliding text in your search bars within Figma. Let's dive right in and get started. You can follow along with this tutorial using the community file down in the description. Once you open the file and come to the follow along page, you will find the search bar to start with. Let's start editing this. The first thing we want to do is separate out the parts that will be animating and the parts that will remain static. As we saw in the example at the start of the video, search for will remain static and the text following it will keep on animating. Let's go ahead and duplicate this text layer and select the one on top. Let's edit it to keep only the sliding part. So I will remove the search for text from here and align the text where it's supposed to be. Now let's remove the songs part from the bottom text layer. Now we want to start adding other text that will animate into the search bar. But before that, select the search bar frame and turn off clip content. This will help us visualize the whole animation a bit better. Great. Now duplicate the text layer that is supposed to animate and place it outside of the frame. Make sure that when you're doing this, you do not remove the text layer from the frame itself. You can do this by checking if the layer is still nested inside the search bar frame. I will also go ahead and change the background color so that it is easy to read the text. We can change the text here and add more duplicates. We can add as many text layers as you want here. Great, that will be the base of our animation. We can now go back and turn on clip content. Now select the search bar and turn it into a component. Let's go ahead and add a few variants here. Tap on the plus sign next to the properties and select variant. We can change property 1 to word. Now in the layers panel select the default variant and change its name to songs. Since songs is the active text in this variant. Now I'll go ahead and create 5 variants of this component. I'm making 5 because I have 5 words in my animation. You can go ahead and create as many variants as you have in your animation. It can be fewer or more. Next, inside the second variant, select all of the text layers that should animate. Now, bring the second animated text into the search bar while simultaneously moving all other text layers as well. Do the same for all other variants, making sure you're selecting and moving all the text layers. Also, make sure that you're bringing the correct text layer inside the search bar. Rename all the variants accordingly as well. Great, let's move on to prototyping now. Go to the prototype tab and select the first variant. Drag a connection between the first and the second variant. In the interaction pop-up, set the activation to after delay. Keep the delay time to 800 milliseconds. Change the animation to smart animate and change the easing to gentle. Now repeat this process for all other variants, making sure that you select the next variant when making a connection. For the last variant, you can make a connection to the first variant and keep all of the same settings. Perfect, our basic animated search bar is now ready to go. Let's place it inside our artboard and see it in action. This is a good enough interaction if you want to make a proof of concept, but it is not the design with finesse. Let's go ahead and add some spice to this, shall we? The first thing I would want to fix in this is to make sure that when the text is sliding in and out, it should not just be cutting off at the edge of the search bar. To fix this, let's add a rectangle to our first variant, change its height so that it does not overlap with any of the other components. And add a gradient to it. We can add a linear gradient going from a solid white color to a 0% opacity white color. We can also rename the rectangle to gradient 1. Now duplicate this rectangle and place it at the bottom as well and flip the gradient. Now you can see that our sliding text won't go into a sharp corner but rather it will fade out nicely. Let's add these two gradients to all our remaining variants by selecting all of them and hitting Command V or Control V if you're on Windows. Great, now our interaction looks a little bit better. Let's add a finishing touch. If we go ahead and select all our inactive text in all of our variants and change the size to something smaller, say 10 pixels, and then play our interaction, it looks a lot better since now the text moves in and out smoothly and it also changes size. 
If you're looking to implement the sliding animation in your design system, but do not want to add so many variants to your search bar component, you can achieve the same effect using nested components as well. There is a community file down below with everything we have learned in this tutorial, be sure to check it out. Thanks a ton for tuning in and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon for more design insights. Until next time, happy designing.